you there. Hey, Blair. How's life? Here you go. Yep. Uh, good choice. <laughs> nah, Mike, I ain't gonna bet on that. Your truce ain't gonna hold. Yeah, for once I agree with Schizo. The Rippers, they ain't human. Not anymore. Yeah, Mike, this is Deke. Heard you brought in Shane Riley, but when I went to the shack to question him, he wasn't there. Uh, yeah, uh, about that, Mike. I tried to bring him in. I really did, but he, uh, well, put up a hell of a fight. So he didn't leave me much choice, Mike. He didn't. Uh, remember what I said about how we do things around here. Yeah, yeah, Mike, I remember. Lost Lake out. Brian, I'm at one of your beacons, the one outside of Rogue Camp. Drifter, uh, uh, St. John, I mean, uh, copy that. Why am I here? I show, uh, Hilo incoming to that location now. Be ready. O'Brien out. Uh, psh, that's why I'm here. St. John, they should have arrived at your location. Do you see them? Yeah, yeah, kind of hard to miss. What do you need me to do? Get close to the researcher. Remember, you have to stay in their proximity or I can't intercept their data. I okay, need the area yeah, secured now. All right, and this time, I need you to plant one of those trackers on their helo. Their chopper. Okay, I know let's what a helo is, O'Brien. And you better have something for me. I got them. Okay, so I gotta go. place a tracker on that chopper. All good. Come All on, clear. guys. Just uh, yeah, clear. clean them out. Clear. Can't let them see me. All right, we're locked down. So what the hell are you boys doing here, huh? Think you would stop and fill up at the old Paltrow gas you station? It's hard at me. O'Brien, the tr here he is. Room note 2060. We have now completed the survey of 24 nesting sites, including those at Marion Forks, the Pioneer Cemetery, the Cascade Highway Lumber Site, the truck stop on the old Belknap Road. What, what was that called again? Ah, oh, Crazy Willies. Yes, very rustic and touristy. Some things about the old world I don't miss. A crazy willies, south of the Belknap Crater. I got a question, Doc. Sure, it's not like I'm busy or anything. The nests. Why do they build them? We don't know. Why do they only build them in, you know, buildings, structures, cabins, things like that? We have a theory that... I mean, we never see them where wild animals would build them. In trees or out in the wilderness, only houses. Okay, you finished? Sorry. The guys back at the lab have a theory. I'm sure when they're ready to talk about it, they'll come rushing down to the barracks to let you know. Jesus. Just ask it. I see things too, you know. It wasn't always a grunt. Can I continue? Sure. South of Belknap Crater. Some areas of the Belknap Wilderness were not surveyed due to the proximity of nesting sites to human encampments. In particular, a large camp at... Salamite Hot Springs. Oh, yes. Salome. On Herod's birthday, she danced before them, whereupon he promised with an oath to give her whatsoever she would ask. She said, Give me the head of John the Baptist, and the king was struck sad. Write the name for a 
resort. Oh shit. Again, some things about the old world I don't miss. Upload complete. Yeah. The Bible? No, they're reciting Bible verses. That must be nice. Flying all over hell and gone and finding time to read. Jesus, O'Brien. Don't. Okay, no, I just gotta get the hell out of here before one of them spots me. Brian, are you there? I can't talk right now. I'll be on this channel later. Out. Brian. Oh, God damn it. I got tired of being your errand boy, O'Brien. Come back later and finish burning out these nests. Deke, you gotta hurry. Ricky, what's going on? That guy we've been looking for, Eric Lynch, who murdered Camel and Reed at the farm. Lynch man. Lynch man. You know where he is? Yes, uh, yeah. He's on the north shore at the old boat village. Skizzle wanted to go after him, but Iron Mike said to get you. I'll get to him. Thanks, Deke. Hurry. Looking to buy, I hope. Hey, how's life? I'll be here if you need me. See you around. How's it going, brother? No, oh, Deke. I don't know about you, but uh, I could use a hand. Uh. <laughs> you lay down. Yes, ma'am. You can't have visitors uh. just yet, but uh, I could really use a hand. Okay, I'll see you later. I'll be here. Hey, Doc, Doc, seriously, though. Um, will I be able to play piano after all this is over? Very funny, William. Lay down. <laughs> okay. I can play chopsticks. No, seriously, I could. I'd be like... As you can see, he's going to be just fine. His fever's completely gone. Good, that's good. All right, well, I gotta go take care Deacon, of some shit. Like I said before, William really does owe you his life. Boozer doesn't owe me shit. I owe him. Hey, I saved two more. Eddie and Mia would have died without those antibiotics. I just thought you should know. Seems like he's uh, getting better.
Looking to buy, I hope. Uh, hold on a second. I'll get it. St. John, come here. Dean, hey, you out there? Hey, Cope. Hell of a guess you got a job. Okay. Uh, I'll swing by when I get a chance. Deacon out. Dean, we need him alive. Alive? Oh, come on. No, why? Before he ran, he stole two bags of seed. Dean, we need those seeds. Ah, shit. We need to know where he sold them or stashed them. You're making my day a lot more complicated. Okay, fine. I'll chase him down. Deacon out. <laughs> Still got them. Oh shit, there he is! Vince, man, come on! Oh no, you're not gonna get away. Fuck, man! You hear me? How's it going, Lynch man? What, is the camp not feeding you well enough? Fuck you! Thought you just killed a couple guys right off with our shit? Don't matter if a bunch of folks here die of starvation because you got what you need, right? <coughs> Get off of me, you son of a bitch! Hey, 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 listen to me. Rick is gonna send some men for you. You tell them where you stash the seeds, maybe they'll just shoot you, you know, instead of hanging you slow. What do you think about that? I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Okay, man, suit yourself. Hey, oh, Ricky, I got him, and I'll uh, send you his position. Fight. Send someone out here to pick me. him up. Does he have the seeds on his bike? Wait, please, don't. <sighs> no, leave me no, here. I didn't see him. All right, we'll bring him in. Boss Link out. See you, Lynch man. I know him. Open up. Hey. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, good. Okay. Uh, you would come back soon, huh? Hey, I got a job for you. You got a job for me? Yeah. There's a bunch of dead freaks. The west of the footbridge stuck in the muck. I need someone to pull them out and take them to the burn pile. Got it? 
marsh duty. Yeah. Get someone else. I'm busy. Hey, I'm getting you to do it. I don't know what Mike told you on your little field trip, but we got work to do. Here. Hey, 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 hey. Schizo. He can't come with you. He's coming with me. Last I checked, I wasn't talking to you. Well, I checked in with Mike. I gotta go into the shit, and he's coming with me. All right? Like I said, I'm busy. And when you get back, you come find me. You coming? Where? Doesn't matter. Seriously, where are we headed? North. Ricky, I don't have time for your crap any more than schizos. Come on, I'll show you. Mike told me what you did. I didn't do anything. About how if we seal the caves here, we can stop the hordes? Never said it would stop them. Maybe slow them down. <laughs> Look, are you going somewhere with this? Yeah. I just thought that maybe you decided to stay. I mean, not just because of Boozer, but because you wanted to help. Is that what you thought? Hey, back in the day, I did my share of runs. You did, but never anything more than that, and you know it. So now you're helping Iron Mike seal the caves? What did you want me to think? A few weeks back, we lost a man when this went down, shutting down the infirmary's respirator. Respirator? Oh, God, Ricky, look around. If you're on a respirator out here, you're already dead. What if it had been Boozer? Yeah, that's what I thought. See, we haven't had power for almost two years, but the Transformers and the lines, they all check out. Well, at least they do here. I want to ride up north, check out the hydro dam, just to see why it shut down. Oh, no. Riding escort, that's Schizo's job. I don't need an escort. You lived up there, you know the area better than anyone. Deacon, you asked for my help, right? Now I'm asking for yours. Shh. Okay, good. I'm gonna go grab some of the guys nope. that can ride... No, you're not. No, we're going in quiet. We're running to Copeland's men. I can handle them, but that wilderness up there is crawling with rippers and scumbags and God knows what else. More men, you know what that means? I mean more attention. No, uh-uh, no, we're doing this my way. Shit. Fine, okay, let's go. Look, Ricky, uh, I gotta ask you. The other night, uh, in the infirmary... Would I have shot you in the face? No. Really? Oh. From the look in your face, you... I would have taken you outside first and then shot you in the face. <laughs> okay, so you wouldn't, you know, want to get blood all over the infirmary. Uh-huh, exactly. If we get an early start, we can get back before dark. As long as nothing goes wrong. <laughs> well, what can go wrong? Following you. Just follow the route that I marked on your map. There's some marauder camps up there we want to stay away from. Yeah, got it. So how did you end up out here? I never asked you. Same as everyone, I guess. When shit went down, I was 100 miles from home. The time I got back, everyone was gone. Where are you from? I grew up in a little town outside of Portland. Would work in the city, couch surf, go home on weekends. Big city. Yeah, right. Only in Oregon. What was it like over there? I mean, how did you, uh, how did you get out? I don't know. Luck, I guess. Roads were backed up all the way down the coast. One giant parking lot. Willamette Valley was a war zone. Everything happened so fast. I, I, I told my friends to get out when I left. I don't think they listened to me. I, uh, I heard they nuked it. Portland? Yeah, I, I heard that too. Don't think it's true. We'd be feeling the fallout, right? Yeah. So, uh, you and Addy. You got a problem? Me? No. Come on. Just, I didn't know. You rode with us a long time. I guess it, uh, I guess it never came up. I was like you. Seemed like, uh, I don't know, keeping your distance was just a good way to stay alive. 
Okay, look, I shouldn't have asked. None of my business. That's why I'm at the camp. You know, chance to live a normal life again. Good luck with that. There's nothing serious. Me and Addie? Didn't look that way to me. Yeah, well, things happen fast these days. You know what I mean? Didn't ask. I wanted to tell you something. Shoot. I, uh, look, I appreciate you going to bat for me. Uh, for me and Boozer. With Iron Mike, I mean. Wow, you are getting soft. Fuck off. You've never thanked me for anything. Yeah, well, maybe I never had any reason to. Okay. So where did you and Iron Mike go the other day? Wait, you said that he already told you about it. He was pretty tight-lipped. I've known Iron Mike a long time. To be honest, I don't think I've ever seen him so, I don't know, depressed. Where'd you go? A Sherman's camp. I heard that place was a freak show. It is, but we didn't have much of a choice. I, uh, I had an idea about sealing the caves, keep the hordes from coming through. He knew where the mining claims office was. We picked up some maps. He's going to track down some explosives. Your radio must be broken. Almost sounded like you volunteered for some shit. I'm riding with you now, aren't I? Jesus. You just wanted out of Marsh duty. Okay, you got me. So what happened? Something happened. Nothing, Ricky. Nothing happened. He didn't say anything? Just, no. No. Nothing happened. And no, Iron Mike didn't say anything. Like you said, he's a pretty tight-lipped guy. All right, dam's coming up. Take it slow near the gate. No idea who or what might be living there. Got it. Well, looks clear. Are you expecting trouble? Yeah, always. And if we run into any, we're gone. All right, come on. I want to check the outflow. Where are you going? Down here. Oh, no, no, no. Hey, this isn't right. There should be more water flowing out right there. Yeah? Yeah, and you hear that? What? what? Exactly. If the turbines were running, you'd be able to hear the hum of the lines from here. Mm. Oh. What happened there? What? Oh. Same thing that happened to all the bridges. Smart men in uniforms decided blowing them up to keep the hordes from coming in. Mm. Hordes of refugees or hordes of freaks? Oh, you figure men like Copeland? Probably both. Hmm. All right, come on, I want to check something out. Come here, touch this. Come on. Okay. Hmm. You feel anything? No. Exactly. If more water was flowing, the turbines would be vibrating. Come on. Up this way. We're going all the way up to the top, up there. Following you. See these pipes? They're called the pen stuff. Water pressure builds up from the reservoir and is pushed down through those pipes, concentrating the force of the flow, which goes right through to the turbines. How the hell do you know all this stuff? 
I had two older brothers who were always fixing cars and shit with my dad. He got me a job at Boeing when I was only 17. I was going to school part-time to become a mechanical engineer when shit went down. Did you ever see him again? Your dad, brothers? No. Come on, over here. Let's figure this out. <clears throat> well, this is gonna be fun. So now wait, oh, oh. wait, what's, go what's going on? What are you doing? We only rode together a few months, but in all that time, I never saw you volunteer for anything. One of us has to jump down there and clear the intake. So, I'm up. <clears throat> oh, but you can stand and watch. Okay. Oh, it's never, never. Let's go. Yeah, it's it's pretty mucked up. I think I can clear it though. Run back down to the turbine. To, to see if it's vibrating at all. Ha <laughs> You feel that vibration? Yeah, but the power lines are still dead. What? Man, oh, it couldn't be that easy, right? All right, come on, let's check out the transformers. So, uh, y your dad and your brothers, what happened to them? I don't know. On my way back, I tried calling over and over. I always got a busy signal. By the time I reached the house, it was deserted. The entire neighborhood was deserted. There were flyers everywhere, evacuation orders. I went to the closest refugee camp, but it was overrun. Everyone was dead. Freaks were everywhere. Jesus, Ricky, I'm, I'm real sorry. Yeah, it was a long time ago. But these are the ones feeding the lines going south. All right, any idea what's wrong with them? No, not a clue. Okay. Well, it might be a short in the turbine junction boxes, so let's just go down and check it out. Okay? Uh, all right. So, uh, what's with you and Schizo? I mean, it seems like you're always on the verge of ripping his throat out. A few months back, Eddie and I caught him hiding outside our cabin while we were bathing. What? God, he's a peeping Tom. I told him if it happened again, he'd find out that my gun is bigger than his. Jesus. You know, if Addie was there, Schizo probably wasn't looking at you. It was all I could do to stop her from neutering the bastard. Ouch. Right? Never piss off a woman who knows how to use a scalpel. Here, boost me up. Okay. Okay, got it. There. Here, I got the gate. Come on, junction room's right around here. Oh, God, what is that smell? Freaker nest. From the smell of it, more than a couple. <sighs> Stay close. How many Molotovs you got with you? Enough. Okay. Remember the drill. You light them up, I knock them down. Yeah. 
It's been a while, but I remember. Burn it down. Here they come! Ready. They're done. Light her up. Here they come! Ready. <laughs> you good? Yeah. They really don't like visitors much, do they? Well, can you blame them? Whew. Well, they better get used to this shit. You know what? As of today, I'm claiming this for Lost Lake Camp. Power to the people. <laughs> All right, let's check the junction boxes and get the hell out of here. This is it. You ready? Yep. Okay. Damn it. <laughs> yes! Houston, we have power. Nice work. Oh, I couldn't have done it without you. Come on, let's find something to block the door in. I don't want to have to come back up here every month to clean this shit out. Wait, wait, wait. You're going to be here in a month? What? No, I, I don't know. Would you just... <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, Deke. Come on. So, why'd you ask about my dad and my brothers? Uh, I don't know. Just, uh, you never mentioned him before, so, um, you know, I'm sorry if I, if it's, uh, something you didn't want to talk about. No, it's fine. In fact, it reminded me of something I wanted to ask you, back when we were riding together. Okay, Ricky. Ricky, not now. You can ask me later. But, no, hey. Hey! Hey, you never asked, uh, why I stopped riding with you and Boozer. Was I supposed to ask? I already knew why. Iron Mike's bullshit. God, Ricky, do we gotta do this now? We had been riding together for, I, I don't remember, a couple months. <laughs> Deke, come on. Okay. Okay. There was this one night, and I remember it really clearly. <clears throat> it was snowing outside, and... Boozer was snoring. Remember how he used to snore? I swear, I thought <laughs> he was going to bring a horde down on us, yeah, right? Well, pretty much hasn't changed. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> you thought everyone was asleep, and you were sitting outside by yourself like you always did, and you were staring at something. You didn't sleep the whole night. Let me see the photo, Deke. Come on, please. This is when I knew. What'd you know, Ricky? That I didn't want to end up like so many of us here. We're trapped in the past or running from it. I, I just, I want to look forward. Okay, not back. This isn't what you think it is, okay? Are you sure it's them? I saw the mark on his back! We're from Lost Lake Camp! Iron Mike has a treaty! Well, that was a really good idea. You wanna try that again?
Stay put and stay right down. Yeah, I was looking at you, bro. Thought you asked me to come far from home, aren't you? Far north, aren't you? Huh? You don't want to get too far away from Carlos, do you? Out, huh? Make all the freaks out here happy, yeah? Huh? Isn't that what you want? No. You can all just go straight to hell. Oh yeah, nice and low down there, huh? I see. He is lost. Bring him low. I think that's the last of them. Yeah. Back in the day, dealt with a few tweakers who acted like that. I think they're on PCP or whatever that other issue is. Oh, uh, bath salts. Remember? That was becoming a thing before everything went down. Right, yeah. Come on, let's see if they messed up our bikes. Really think that Iron Mike's treaty with these bastards is gonna hold? I don't know. Fucking rippers after what they did to Boozer's arm. After what they did to Dick! Lisa? What? This was clutched in one of their hands. What happened? Did you guys have a run-in, you and Boozer, with, with the Rippers, before you stole the antibiotics? Well, I... I don't know. Look, whatever Carlos thinks I did, ain't gonna compare to what I'm gonna do to him if I ever see the son of a bitch. Come on, let's go. Working with the Northern Alliance. Shit, I didn't know you were in the army. Why were You wanna hear this or not? Sorry. We were advancing on Mazari Sharif. We got ambushed by a group of Taliban heading the other way, and they were in flatbed trucks decked out with ZU 23s, modified anti aircraft guns. Big guns. Yeah, really big fucking guns. Our Humvee exploded. Went over a cliff, right into the Hari. You know how hard it is to drown in Afghanistan? It's hard. The place is one giant goddamn desert. Anyway, I was thrown clear, and when I came to, the, the Humvee was upside down in the river. I swam out to see if anyone survived. I, uh, I pulled a body back to shore, and I did that seven more times. And by the, by the time I pulled in Tanner, my Sarge, I was done. And when I came home, I don't know, I uh, I bought a bike, spent a couple of years on the road, just moving from place to place, and... Uh, to farewell? You grew up around here, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, 
so by the time I finally settled down, I got a job at a bike shop run by this, by this old guy named Jack. And uh, he ran the club. The, uh, well, the press. That's what we used to call him. He patched me in himself. Wait, Jack. I remember who you're talking about. Him. He was in prison or something. Some bad shit went down, and, and he ended up taking the rap for the club. Sounds like you guys were pretty tight. Had to be one, right? Let's come back in the morning. You can get whatever tools you need and we'll finish it up then. There will be fewer freaks out. So no hot shower tonight? Okay, but I want to show you something first. No, Ricky, it's been a long day. Come on, you know a lot about the freaks. I just want to show you something you might not know. Come on, we're out here anyway. Shit, okay. Let's go. God, like I said before, could I stop you? Why are you still flying colors? I don't know what you mean. I mean, why do you still wear the cuts? You and Boozer, it's, it's not like you're trying to recruit anymore. We're, we're staking out territory. No. A couple of guys I worked with at the plant wore colors on the weekend. I asked them about it once. They said they wore them as a way of saying, fuck you, to, I don't know, cops, authority, the government. So what are you rebelling against? Whatever's left. Look, we wear them because we wear them. What do you want? I mean, no idea about Boozer, but I ain't trying to say shit. It's just... Cut. That's who I am. I've done a lot of stupid shit in my life, but joining the MC, well... Let's just say that it's one of the few things that I don't... Ricky, what are we doing here? I've seen the Nero death trains before and hordes. I know. Not like this. What the fuck? Watch. I've come out here a few times to see them. They stay in those old machine buildings and they come out every night like someone's ringing a dinner bell, right? When it's morning, they go back inside and what? Hibernate? You mean you never went down there to see? Aha. Uh -huh. No. One time I got way too close, and a dozen of them started chasing me. It's like poking a hornet's nest. Come on, let's get out of here. It's getting dark. Okay. Okay, anyway, the other day, I, uh... I saw something you won't believe! Really? You wanna talk? Alright, let's hear it. Wait, let me guess. You saw a Nero helicopter. Wait, uh... How did you know about that? They've been spotted a few times, all over Lost Lake. Shit. Why do you care? It's not like they're here to help us. From the sound of it, they shoot on sight. I don't care. Oh, sounded like you did. Hey, where the hell have you been all day? <laughs> nice to see you, too. Yeah, well, Schizo said you and Deacon took off, and I was worried. Addy, I'm tired, okay? Oh, that's rich. Hey, Deacon, thank you. Yeah, well, just let me know when you're ready to tackle that Transformer. I'll be around. Sure. It's bullshit. What is your problem? No, no, what is your problem? I just said, I'm tired, that's it. Okay, I'm sorry. Like I said, I, w I was worried. It's not like you to just take off without talking to me. Okay. So that's it? <sighs> A 
I used to be a cop, believe it or not. Farewell. I think we had a pretty good training and equipment and all. It got bad fast. Yeah, that's a day I'm never getting back. Oh, hey, look at that. Too late for marsh duty. Yeah, well, it's too bad, huh? Schizo. Schizo, schizo. Speaking of schizo, I wonder what the hell he did all day. <laughs> Uh, yep. Oh, you would come back soon, huh? Now what's up, man? How's life? Been busy, huh? That's it. All right, later, man. What a mess. Looking to buy, Hope. Just looking for some stuff. What else can I get you? Your bike's looking good now. Okay. Later. Hey, Ricky, you there? I'm, uh, I'm gonna be gone for a while. I'm gonna need you to cover for me. Skiz is gonna wonder why I'm not out on marsh duty or whatever the hell. Hey, Deke. What's up? Boozer's, uh, hell. He's, he's depressed or something. Talk to him. I think I know a way to cheer him up. So, what are you gonna do? Oh, uh, I thought I'd maybe head to O'Leary Mountain, get his bike, and bring it back. That's a long way to go on foot. Figure something out. Are you, are you gonna cover for me or what? Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Ricky. O'Brien, I'm at one of your beacons, the one near Camp Creek. Uh, there's nothing here. Hold on. Uh, okay. A field op should be there any minute. You know the drill. O'Brien out. Yeah, I know the drill. Try not to get my ass shot off while being your goddamn peeping Tom. St. John out. Yeah, so what was that all about? I mean, last time we talked, it sounded like you were pissing your hazmat suit. It's nothing. Like I told you there are people above me who don't want us to know what's going on. I got too close. I almost got caught. No, the LC's locked down. You know what? I don't give a shit. Well, all I want from you is information okay, on done. Sarah. Whitaker, I've got someone working on it. It's... it's gonna take time. I guess...
Ops too. You're always complaining. Noon yet? You guys only think with your stomachs. Oh, here we go. two zero six eight. Another subject exhibiting the morphology of stage two infection. Tendons in the hands and fingers are less constricted. Fingernails less claw-like, as if recently chewed. Additionally, the subject is wearing jewelry and clothing less tattered and worn than... Hey, sorry. Couldn't help overhearing. Ah, gun-toting biology major. Yeah, something like that. So, it's wearing jewelry. What's the significance of that? These things have been out here for two years, scratching and clawing at us and each other. Yeah. Try putting a gold watch on a baboon for two years. Set it loose in the wild and see what happens to it. Okay, okay. This watch looks new. Really? So? So, that means this subject has either been taking care of it, or has recently... Recently put it on. Shit, I thought they were all, you know... That shit crazy? Yeah, they are, but... Just as some late-stage dementia patients could still have moments of lucidity, victims of stage 2 virus infection seem to retain some level of vestigial memory. No shit. No shit. Look at its clothes. They're almost clean, right? I mean, not clean, but most freaks are so caked with shit and piss. Yeah, it's disgusting. Yeah, well, again, put a pair of pants on a baboon for two years. Jesus. You ever wonder why there's so many more freaks in areas where people used to live? Never thought about it. Yeah, I guess they do. Yeah, we think there might still be something very deep in their massively deformed heads. Well, what it means is that some freaks get up in the morning, they shower, they get dressed, they put on their favorite gold watch, they kiss their wife goodbye, and then they head out the door for a fun day of eating us and shitting themselves. Why the hell are these guys wasting their time with this shit? <sighs> Hope you got all that, O'Brien. Okay, now I just gotta get the hell out of here. It wasn't even my turn on the duty roster. O'Brien, are you there? O'Brien! Hold on. Yeah, I'm here. I planted your tracking device and I got your data. The researcher, were they male or female? What? What? Why? Was it a man or a woman? Uh, it was a woman and... No, I didn't catch your name. Hey, man. Hey, how's life? 
I'll fill her up. I'll be here if you need me. Who the hell's my ratchet wrench? Later. First one. Uh, hold on a second. I'll get it. Let me get you out of there. You're gonna die out here. I know of a camp where it's safe. Camp? Yeah, yeah. Where? Sh show me. Where? I I'll go. I'll go. Head to Lost Lake. Ask for Ricky Patel. She'll take you in. Oh, man, I, I was done for. Holy shit. You know? Thank you so much. Oh, man. Tell him it was Deacon. Deacon St. John. Okay, keep running, stay out of sight. Mine now. Yeah. 
Scrap. Hey, I brought you something. Wait, what the fuck? You you went up and got my bike? Well, I didn't want Cope getting it, parting it out. Jesus, Dick. Hey, I mean, I mostly did it, you know, in case I need parts. It's not like your gimp ass is gonna need them. Shit. Thanks, brother. That's the one thing I miss. Riding on the open road. just wanted me to tell you that she paid some men to go get your bike and bring it back. It's over at the mechanic shop. Oh, wait. What? You're welcome, something. Dave. Ricky out. That's all I got today. See ya. Uh, hello. What's going on, Blair? Okay. All right. Thanks for stopping by. How's it going? Hey, how's it going? All right, I got you. Don't beat her up too bad. I think we're out of screws. Got any over there? I'll be here, if you need me. See you around. I was in my classroom when I get the game. I thought it was... Deacon St. John. Hey, Cope, what's up? Just checking in. A couple of my men were up to the top of O'Leary Mountain the other day. Said they found a safe house set up in an old Forest Service watchtower. Is that right? Yes, sir, that's what I'm told. They said it was abandoned, but funny thing. Whoever lived there left behind a bike. Good shape, too, by the sound of it. Really? Indeed. But that's not the funny thing. The funny thing is they went back up there today to pick it up, but the bike was gone. Now, ain't that a hit-scratcher? Look, Cope, this is all really fascinating, but, uh... Now, hold on. Here's the fascinating part. They swear that old bike, well, it looked a lot like the one Boozer used to ride. <sighs> okay, so let me get this straight, Cope. You guys went up to O'Leary Mountain. You found 
what you thought was Boozer's bike. And the first thing you thought of was, hey, why don't we just go back and steal it? Salvage, Deke. Salvage. But no, that was my second thought. My first was, whatever happened to old Boozer? Manny says he hasn't seen him around for some time. I don't know, Cope. Next time I see him, I'll let him know how much you miss him. St. John out! Deacon, you there? Yeah, Addy, what's up? Can you stop by the infirmary when you get a chance? Anything wrong? No, I just need to talk to you. Uh, yeah, okay. Gate. It's that drifter. Yeah, I know him. I used to be a cop. Farewell. I think we had it pretty good. Hey, Deacon, you got a second? How's William? I haven't seen him lately. How's Boozer? How the hell are any of us? He's surviving. Yeah, well, then he's doing better than most. Yeah. Listen. You need to keep an eye on him. What do you mean? Well, losing an arm is a big adjustment. He's given up the life he had. <sighs> Wasn't much of a life, Addy. I... You're his friend. The only one he's got. Hold on, I'll get it. Boozman, how you doing? I'm having the time of my life, can't you see? <sighs> okay, see you. Hey, Addy, you there? Deacon, yes, I'm here. Hey, so, uh, I, I don't think that, that he's doing so well. I, I don't know, I guess I'm really worried about him. Yeah, me too. 
to stop by, he seems. I don't know. Angry. Depressed. Look. Son of a bitch! Down! Fire! Fire! Before shit went down, I wrote in my newsletter, Farewell Freedom. Store a year's worth of food and water. Because I knew, no matter what was coming, we were all nine meals from anarchy. I figured, if I could get a few people prepared, the ones who'd really listen, then maybe we'd survive when it all finally collapsed down on our heads. But not as many listened as I'd hoped. Now, those supplies are running out. And folks are going hungry. Remember the parable of the ant and the grasshopper? Well, us ants, who prepared and stored for future calamity, didn't have the heart to starve out you grasshoppers. Who danced while the sun was shining without a worry in your head for what calamities the future would bring. Now, we're all paying the price. Are we gonna starve? Mm, here we go. I don't know. Fish runs are thinning out. Game is getting scarce. I can't remember the last time I saw a buck or a doe. But I'll tell you this much. We're not turning on each other. Oh, sir. We'll never do that. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Damn truth or bullshit. You know, last I checked, the grasshoppers all armed themselves to the teeth, came in, and killed all your fucking ants, and took everything you own. So, if you're gonna tell parables, Cope, just get them right. Damn it, we're out of patrol. Someone's at the gate. I used to be a cop. That well? I think we had a pretty good training equipment at all. Not bad, fast. A few weeks back, we were riding west along the old Belknap Road. And into a bunch of crazy ass, almost naked, all scarred up. Took a knife to themselves. Joe said they were rippers. A cult over an iron butte called Rest in Peace. Okay. That's your best bet. Right there. I don't know about that, Mike. We lost people in there before. We, lo we lost wh who? When? A few weeks back. Torres and Evans, looking for supplies. I told you that no, they No, were... goddammit, you didn't! I told you that we went after them, but the entrance ah. was caved in. Their bikes were outside, but the place was crawling, you remember? I don't even know if they made it inside. What's the trouble? Ah, uh, we just... We're going over the papers, the ones from Sherman's camp. Mm -hmm. There's a mine that was getting ready to expand. Sure, and there's probably explosives stored on site. Yeah. Except now Schizo tells me we may have lost two men on the inside. Hey, I never said that, Mike. Well, look, I, just, give me the map, I'll go get the explosives and Mike, hey, the people will. inside. What the hell is going you on? You may trust him, Mike, but I don't. Tell me, how much is Tucker paying for a box of TNT these you know, days? No, huh? hold on. He's doing his part. Oh, really? He's doing what? Besides breaking the treaty with the Rippers, skipping work, staying out with Ricky all day, what's he been doing, huh? What you been doing, huh? Sitting on your ass while everyone does all the work. I keep this camp safe mm. from marauders, thieves, and drifters. Knock it off. Knock it off! Hey, you don't trust him? You go with him. Do you remember some? Both of you, remember, we are all part of the same camp. That's fine. Fine by me. In the morning, we'll take our bikes and we'll go. We'll go right now. <laughs> now. 
Yeah. Now, in the middle of the night. Sure. You know, it's dark out. There'll be less freaks inside the mine. Oh, that's right. Oh, since you've been skipping work, you've been chasing their black choppers, and now you're some kind of freak expert. Don't need it? to be a fucking expert to know that the freaks come out at night. So okay. Oh, yeah? Come on, enough already! Okay. Okay. You want to go now? We'll go now. But I'll hold on to this. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Hey. Look, he's got his issues, just like everybody else does. But he does his job. <laughs> Tell that to Torres and Evans. Deke, I guess I'm just making sure he's not gonna have some kind of accident down in that mine. Oh, Jesus, Mike, who do you think I am? I'm still trying to figure that out. See you when you get back. <sighs> Son of a bitch. Going. Lucky lad, know where it is? Yeah. <clears throat> I'll be waiting for you. Yeah, try to keep up. Deacon, you there? This is Lost Lake Camp. Over. Yeah, Ricky. What's up? I stopped by to see you. Obviously, you're not there. Schizo and I are on a run for Iron Mike. I'll be back by morning. What's up? I just wanted to see when we could get out and fix that transformer. That hot shower still calling your name? Something like that. <laughs> we'll be back by morning. Talk to them. Beacon out. you were gonna be waiting for me. I got sidetracked. So these belong to Mike's men? My men? But yeah. Torres and Evans. They weren't drifters, but they'd been out in the shit a few times. I thought they could handle it. I guess you were wrong. Shit's already been parted out. Goddamn scavengers everywhere. Skizza, why wouldn't you bring their ship back with you when you were out here looking for them? Because there were too many freaks. <laughs> That's why. Like them. Only a lot more. Come on. I might say the explosives are kept locked in strong boxes. Should be a set of spare keys somewhere inside the archetype. Fucking nudes. Gotta eat the little suckers. We finally agree on something. Might be useful. Hey, over here. Did I think I can boost you onto this room. Now. Another bounty. Get in there. There we go. Here you go! Got it. Yeah. There. Schizo! I got him. Great, great. Look around. Uh, see if you can find some flares. Wait a second. You didn't bring a flashlight? Yeah, but the batteries are dead. Shit's getting hard to find these days. At least ones that have any juice left. Flares. Schizo! I found a box of flares. Yeah, yeah, see if you can force open the door. I'll come in and grab them. Flares are over here. Yeah. Give me the keys. What, you mean like these keys? Yeah, kind of. Hey, 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 I got an idea. How about you lead us to the strong boxes? I'll unlock them. You got a problem with that? 
No problem. Just don't lose them. Mm. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna keep that in mind. I got him. Let's head in. Right by you. See? It's just like I said. Looks like we should be able to squeeze in through here. Give me a hand. Here, push. I'm pushing, I'm pushing. There. Wedge it against that boulder. Got it. There. <sighs> Looks stable to you. Stable enough. Remember, keep your gun holstered. I thought you said it was gonna be clear. I never said that, and I mean it. If there are any freaks in here, one shot, we'll bring them right down on their heads. I heard you already. Jesus. Okay, first expansion area is right off the main shaft. Come on this way. Right behind you. Ah, shit, we're not getting none of that. Look at the map. Is there another tunnel? A ventilation shaft? Map shows they started a connecting tunnel here. Looks like it was unstable, so they boarded it up. Where? Uh, back this way. Here? Yeah. Yeah, looks like they boarded it up. Doesn't look exactly stable. I thought I already said that. All I got is this. You got the flashlight. You had the honors. Maybe there's a reason they never completed any of this expansion work. I mean, it seems like one stick of dynamite will bring this whole place down on our heads. It doesn't seem so bad. What are you doing? What's it look like? You dropped them flares. Why? You got the map. This thing's a fucking maze. Gonna need help knowing which tunnels we checked. Go left here. Got it. Come here. What? Easier, man. Yeah. Every time I saw Torres, he had on this same damn vest. I kept telling him, wearing bright orange is gonna get you killed, bro. I guess it didn't matter in here. His buddy lost the arm, blood out, and kept Torres fed for a week. Do you ever resort to that? A few lines I haven't crossed, that's one of them. Yeah. Me either. Uh... Stand back. I'm not leaving him for the freaks. Let's get the hell out of here. This is it. Okay, let's see. 
What's going on here? <sighs> You're mine now. Come on, we can squeeze through here. Following you? That's a tight squeeze. You got this? Who sits on his ass all day in the camp? Oh, very funny. Come on. Okay, the first expansion area should be around this corner. If you're reading the map right. I'm reading it right. See? You still got the keys? Yeah, right here. Sorry, did you not believe me? Sure, I believed you. Come on. Maybe they put them all in one place. Let's go check the other one. This way. Let's double back. Make sure we didn't miss any side tunnels. Excuse me, hold, hold up, hold up. This doesn't seem right. What? What are you talking about? This isn't the way that we came in. What? You think these flares got up and moved themselves? Maybe I got turned around. Oh, now, wait a minute, God damn it! This is the main tunnel. What? It's the it's the main tunnel. You see the tracks? We weren't following any tracks on our way in. What the hell? But, but these are my flares, damn it. How did it? Oh, someone's fucking with us. Come on, this way. Hold up, hold up. Wait a second. Who the hell's in here? Come on out! Show yourself! Just guess who put that thing away. What are you talking about? What I'm talking about is one shot. One. It's all it takes to bring all the freaks in these tunnels down on top of us. Well, I thought you said these tunnels would be clear this time. No. Ah! What the hell? Ah! 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 Look out! Get, get a shot! Ah! Oh, God damn it! God damn it, it's got the keys! Shit! Where are you going? It's got the keys, we gotta catch it! Hey! God damn it, Skizzo, it's getting away! Damn it, you little shit, get back here! Come on, you shit, give me back those fucking keys! Where'd you go? Okay. 
Except the last of them. So much for the tunnels being clear. I told you what would happen if you fired your weapon. What was I supposed to do? Throw rocks what at him? What you supposed to do is you fucking listen to me. Next time, try this. Whatever. You're welcome. For what? For saving your ass. If you hadn't run off, my ass wouldn't need it saving. <laughs> Will you ready to fucking finish this? Yeah. I'm ready. This way. So, he goes off. Addy said it looked like someone tried to burn his tats off. There's the Rippers, wasn't it? You got a point, Schizo? I had a drifter come in. Word's gone out. Rippers are looking for two men. Mongols? Sound like anyone you know? Well, as you can see... I'm still wearing the cut. We're not hiding, Schizo. Carlos wants Boozer. He won't have any trouble finding him. But he's gonna have to go through me first. What'd you do to him? Gotta be something long before breaking the tree. Long before I... You know what? I don't know and I don't care. Have I killed a few rippers in my day? You're goddamn right I have. And after what they did to Boozer, I'm gonna go right on killing the crazy sons of bitches. Yeah? And Carlos is crazier than any of them. You don't want to be on his shit list, bro. What'd I just say? I don't care. And I'm not your bro. Remember what I told Iron Mike? Carlos can go fuck himself. Hey, just looking out for you. You're one of us now, right? Yeah, yeah, right. Don't worry about me and Boozer. We can look out for ourselves. Bingo. Let me see. Ah, nice. This ought to make the old man happy. Shit's heavy. What are you talking about? You know the old man. Same with me. I got this. Thanks. He thinks that his treaty with the Rippers is gonna keep us safe. The thing is, they don't give a shit about any treaty. The only reason they haven't come down here in force is because they're too busy up north, hitting Copeland, the hot springs. Yeah, I know. I was there. So you know what I'm talking about. The Rippers are coming. And Iron Mike... He's just gonna let it happen. He's gonna let those bald-headed freak-alikes wash over us like a goddamn red tie. Excuse me, so you don't know that. Huh? Come on. Jesus, never thought I'd be so glad to see the light of day. Shit, something else we agree on. That's twice in one day. Hold up for a second. Someone out there. Hey, buddy. Someone's inside. Hey, what the hell? Biden out there. Oh. Sit in your pants. Come on now. Find the Rippers. Yeah, come on. Find him. Mister, my boy's got a little rambunctious. I All right, uh, split up. We'll here, surround you know? them. Got it. Hey, sister. Thought you just wanted to talk. Well, I guess that's all I gotta say. That's oh. all you got? You think you're gonna beat me? Huh? Ah, shoot the asshole! Yeah, you got it! Lay it into him! Ah, get 
give it all! I think that's all the bastards. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. We gotta get that box of dynamite. Must have been the same assholes who parted out the bikes. Right by and they see ours. Figured they'd make an easy score. I guess it wasn't as easy as they'd hoped. You know, I hate to say it, but we actually make a good team, you know. Well, then don't say it. Hey, there's something I gotta say. When you and Boozer rode into camp and Iron Mike welcomed you back again with goddamn open arms, I thought it was another sign the old man was losing it. Going soft. Okay, what's your point, Scott? Hey, my point is that you and me, we see eye to eye. I get that now. You know, same as me. If Iron Mike don't wake the hell up, the camp's not gonna last another six months. Okay, still waiting for your point. Look, I know I've been busting your balls. We both know that. But a lot of people know what you've done. For your friend, how you've been doing shit for the camp. Changes are coming, brother. When Iron Mike retires, let's call it, I say you and me, we step up and run the camp together. You and me. Run the camp. <laughs> That's really what you wanted to talk hey, to me about. Hey, hear me out, goddammit. <laughs> Just listen to me a minute. Uh -huh. Look, I got a lot of friends on the camp council, and they agree. Most of them say the old man's gotta go. Yeah, that's bullshit, because Ricky would never go for She's as soft as and the old Mike man. And Mike trusts you. you. Well, that's his mistake. One of many. Well, it ain't gonna be mine. Look, we all do things to survive, Schizo. I get that. You remember how I said there's some lines I ain't crossed? Stabbing a friend in the back? That's one of them. Better one old man than the entire camp. You think about that. Let alone make him head of security. <laughs> Lost Lake Camp, come in. Deacon St. John to Iron Mike. You and Schizo, you find them? The explosives? Yeah. Uh, we got them. Schizo's on his way back to everything we found. Listen, Mike. We got him. Schizo's on his way back with everything we found. Listen, Mike. Got to... That's great. That's great. Now, we can't use him till we find some dead cord. You know that, right? I'll take a look through the files we got. Mike, listen. Schizo, he's, um, 
Jesus, what now? You boys trying to shoot your damn heads off again? No, Mike, but he, uh... He wants to run the camp, Mike. He told me him... Oh, hell, I know all about that. Remember, I told you already. Schizo thinks I'm a pacifist I'm gonna get us all killed, but I know he's been talking. Mike! Deke, like I said, Schizo's got his issues, but it... It's not like we don't got ours. Thanks for your concern, but I can take care of myself. Mike, out. Uh, Jesus, you're way higher, Mike. You always do. Someone's at the gate. It's Deke. Let him in. I think this is done. Where's Boozer? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I thought he was with you. Yeah, he was, and then he he took off. Some shit. Excuse me, what the fuck are you telling me? Get off me! Look, he grabbed a bottle of whiskey, he said he was going home. I don't know. Motherfucker, and you didn't even try to stop him, did you? Hey! We tried! <clears throat> you gotta know when to cut a man loose. You gotta know when a man's done. Deke, Deke, Deke. Hey, Deke, can I ask you something? Could I stop you, Blair? Could I? <laughs> no. I heard there was a big fight between Schizo and Iron Mike. What's going on? Do you know? I mean, I hear things like Schizo wants to take over the camp. That's messed up. Just uh, look, I don't believe everything you hear, okay? You'll stay sane that way. No, I'm not vouching for that. <sighs> nice. Uh, yep. Hey, come around more often. We miss you. Ricky, you there? What's wrong? Boozer went out, but he didn't come back. Shit. You uh, heading up is. there? Uh, need help? No, I'll find him. Boozer, you there? Boozman. Uh, yeah, Deke. Yeah, Deke. I'm here. Where the hell are you? It's it's getting dark out. Where? I'm at the farm. I'm at the, f the farm. Jesus, stay there. I'm coming to get you. Just, just stay here. I got it. I got it. <laughs> All right, here's the farm. This is where Ricky said the work crew was. Boozer! You there? Boozman! Damn it. Okay, here's the farm. Hey, where's Boozer? Who? Ah, oh, there's no one here. Work crew's gone home for the day. No, he's still here. The, the big guy with one arm. Yeah, yeah, I know who you mean. He headed off that way, towards the old farmhouse. Thought he was getting a ride there. If you see him, tell him, tell him to stay here. Radio me or Ricky. Sure, man. Whatever. You there? Skizzo said that he had a, a bottle of whiskey. Where would this has gotta be it? 
Boozer! This looks like it. Good book to read. Whiskey bottle. Empty. Wait a second. Case of beer? Toilet. What the hell? Jesus, booze man. Ugh. Finally, Jesus. This is it. Which way? Gotcha. Beer bottle, empty. Heading that way. Damn it. Excuse those right. He's heading home. He's on foot. He can't have gotten far. I'm gonna need my bike. Boozer. Booze man! How's it going, brother? I said you were at the farm. I just left, and you are not at the farm, Boozer. Uh, we... Oh! Oh, the other farm. I'm, um... I, I, I went to the other farm. I, I found a sixer. <laughs> so, I thought I'd go for a walk, you know? Like, this little walk at sunset. So, uh... Boozer, are you in here? Booze man. Upstairs. Okay, now another bedroom. And another beer bottle. Bed sweater. Oh, I'm not gonna ask. Boozer, where are you? Booze! I, I thought you were gonna come um, here with me. Where are you? Would you look around? Would you tell me what you see? What's nearby? Give me a, give me a landmark or something. Already told you. Oh, oh look at that shit. Look at what, Boozer? What do you see? The road. The road. Wow, it's just it's gone. Like, like somebody came and I don't know, just they swept it away. The road's gone. Oh yeah. The, the, like somebody. Came and just swept it away. Just stay right there. Just stay where you are. Get down. Get out of sight. Listen for my bike. I'm coming. I'm not hiding from no one. I'm going home. The home. Damn it, Boozer. That's got to be him. Boot prints. Bingo. Boozer, you there? I'm getting close. I, uh, I followed your tracks. Just like you taught me. Uh, so come on, man. Stay put, will ya? There he is! A little late for a stroll. Hey, Dig. How's it going, old buddy? Boozer, where are you going? Oh, that's where I'm going, home. Oh, well, we can't go back to O'Leary Mountain. No, I'm not going to fucking O'Leary Mountain. I'm going to farewell. Shit, come on. We gotta get you to be no. doing You wanna take a swing at me? Fine. Get in line behind them. Bring it! Okay. So this is it? This is how we're going out? Get out no, here, no, I don't think so. Huh, Boozer? Huh? 
Bro? Bozer? The night your old lady was killed. What did I say to you? I didn't tell you. What did I say to you, huh? I found you halfway through a case of whiskey. You were gonna drink yourself to death. What did I say to you? You grabbed a bottle, and you chugged it. It was a lot of goddamn whiskey. And you told me that if I was gonna drink myself to death, you'd be right there with me. That's what brothers do. So like I said, Boozer, is this it? That's how we're going out. Let's get the hell out of here. Go, go, go! I'm going! Go faster then. Ah! It's cars! Wrecked cars! I see him, Boozer! That's the last of them. Yeah. We're gonna be okay. I, I knew. I knew it all along. Hey, hey, Deke. Boozer, listen. I just want to say thank you, man. I mean it. Boozer, uh... Just listen, goddammit. You came out here and you saved my sorry ass. Again. I owe you, brother. I owe you. No, no, Boozer. I owe you... All right, look. If it weren't for you, I, uh, I would have been dead a long time ago. Or worse. Let him in. I thought you said there was nothing. You're gonna be okay? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, I hear a bunk calling my name. Yeah, Ricky, I found him. How is he? Well, let's just say that tomorrow he's gonna have one hell of a hangover. Who the hell's my rat? A hangover? Good. I'll remember that when I stop by to see him at six in the morning. Yeah, yeah, thank God. I know. He deserves it. Deke, I'm glad he's okay. Yeah, that'll last you. Who the hell's my ratchet wrench? I never find anything. Mm, what else can I get you? <laughs> Your bike's looking good now. That's a good piece. Nice and sturdy. Yeah, good part, that one. And that'll last you. Mm, what else can I get you? <laughs> Your bike's looking good now. That's a good piece. Nice and sturdy. Yeah, good part, that one. And that'll last you. Well, what else can I get you? I'll fill her up. Sure. All right. I'm here if you need me, man. 
Good to see you, Dee. Gonna make forever a day or two, will ya? Joni, you will never know how much Boozer misses you. Oh, I'm just gonna close my eyes for a bit. <sighs> I was ready to go back at it. <clears throat> I'm just gonna grab some shot eye. All right, okay, let's go. Hey, Ricky, I, uh, I got a favor to ask. Yeah, what's up, Deke? Um, it's about Boozer's arm. Uh, I saw that hook that you made for him, and, uh, it's great, but, uh, don't you think it might be better if, instead of a hook, I don't know, maybe with something like a knife or a blade or something, you know? Uh, oh, oh, hold on. Oh, please, thank you. So, oh. if it oh, I'm sorry about that. So, uh... You, you want me to, you want me to create a prosthetic blade for Boozer? Well, yeah, I just thought I might cheer him up, make him feel, you know, more of a... You want me to weaponize Boozer? Well, I wouldn't put it that way. I'm just fucking with you, Deke. I think uh, it's a great idea. Uh, I will go check some parts, and I will radio what I need. Cool? Okay. Okay. Hey, Deke. Hey, Joe. Okay, hold on. That's it. Yeah, see you, Deke. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. Today, I want to talk about drugs. Now, I don't much care for them. They keep you numb, unreliable. And silent. In 1996, the CIA was accused of dealing cocaine in Central America. Used it to help them control the masses. Get the Fed's sticky fingers on a slice of the global pie. Figured out how well that shit worked. Well, then they decided to set their sights here at home. Make drug addicts of us American taxpayers. They brought cocaine up from South America by the plane load. Barrels of the stuff got dropped on it. Kept us poisoned. Kept us happy. Kept us under the heel of their rich boots. And oh, they did profit from our misery. Feds made millions of us. Rains all destroyed the heart and soul of this good country. But thankfully, at last, all that is in the past. At least, for my people. Stay sober, people. Stay alive. This is Mark Radio Free Oregon. 
Don't believe the lies. And you ever lose an arm, Cope? Maybe when you do, you'll find yourself wanting a bottle of whiskey, or two, or three. In the meantime, shut the hell up. Hey, Deke, I got a good one for you. Mike, hey, what's up? Ricky handed me a shopping list. Said it was for Boozer. Said I should radio you. Okay, where's Ricky? Something came up with Addie, I don't ask. Anyway, she needs a galvanized metal pipe, tube, kind used in building. She needs a carbon alloy blade, the kind hunters use, and finally some metal scrap. That list make any sense to you? Uh, yeah, Mike, like you said, I don't ask. <laughs> Deacon. Okay, what do I need? I need a blade or metal tube, scrap. Ah, Jesus, Ricky. Metal tube, metal tube. Can't just be any metal tube, can it? Gotta find one from a uh, construction site. Wait, 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 hold on a second. There was a house um, under construction at Marion Forks, but I can find something there. Deer Crossing, ah, something's never changed. Vagrants, if they see me, I'm dead. Boozer, you there? Yeah, dude. Just got off work. I got to spend the money on buckets of shit. Oh, Jesus, goddamn schizo. Time. Just don't get your hopes up. That's all I'm hey, Dee. Can you stop by? Ricky, yeah, I'll bet you got a job for me. Uh, okay, I'll stop by. You can up. Doesn't look 
Too bad. go. Oh, that'll do it. Blade. Where am I gonna find the blade? Wait, wait, wait. Where, where was that sporting goods store? I got this. Hang on. You're not gonna make it out here. I know where there's a camp. Where? Where? I'll go! I'll go! Head to Lost Lake. Ask for Ricky Patel. She'll take you in. Thank you so much! I thought I was gonna die in there! Tell them it was Deacon. They'll know. Stay off the main roads. Don't stop.
find a blade. Gotta take a closer look. What do we got? There you are. No, not this way. Drop. <laughs> Here we go. Need some scrap. <laughs> <laughs> This ought to be enough. Now uh, I just gotta get all this crap back to Ricky.
Out here, they're in. You're gonna be okay. You're gonna die out here. I know of a camp where it's safe. Camp? Where? 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 Sh show me. I'll go. I'll go. Head to Lost Lake. Ask for Ricky Patel. She'll take you in. Oh. I was done for. Holy shit, you know. Thank you so much. Oh, man. Tell him it was St. John. Deacon. They know who I am. Now just keep running. Stay off the road. Open in the gate. I was in my classroom. Hey. Hey. I got those parts that you asked for. Oh, great. Well, uh, check back in a few. I'll see what I can do. Yeah. Uh, Ricky. Thanks. Boozer's one of us now.